What up, people? Cardboard Moses with your welcome. It is time again to do another Brizig 2017 Panini Don Run Certified Cuts Football. Six box half case break number 13. Something to get that underway. Come on now. It's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. Well, I hope you got a job. You know, I'm just quoting the famous, uh, you know, novella known as Friday. I'm not quite sure it qualifies to be a novella. I just like to say it's a, it's a novella. Makes it sound fancier. Let's go bears. What's up, Ginger? Looking to hit the biscuit. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we're going to see a, a cut autograph in this. So who's in here watching that's in this break right now? You know, it, it, it usually works where... In the very beginning, you're like, yeah, you know, go insert team here. Yeah, you know, hit hit for my team, man. Uh, was there any in first half? Any cuts? Not that I can remember. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this. These, uh, these boxes have just been chilling there for a while. So honestly, I, I don't, I, I don't know, Ginger. I'm hoping to see to see a cut though. That would be nice. And I know there's some pretty sweet uh, cut signatures out there. Some John Wayne's. I don't know if they've been pulled already, but I know the, I've seen the checklist and it's pretty ridiculous. What's up, Angela? Trying to win a team in prison though. I am not mad at that at all. Let me check something real quick here, dude. That's what I thought, but it's showing 19 here, so what the F? Alright, enough suspense. What's up, Kyle? How you doing, man? Let's see what we got up in this thing. Good luck, y'all. What it do, freak of nature? So we have Jake Butt starting our autos off. 299 for the Barrancos. It's a fucking 101? Oh, snap, Kyle. You got it redeemed already? When am I shipping? Probably Monday, uh, Sports Cards Freak. We're dude, we're like a we're backed up a week right now on the sorts. So I do uh, appreciate your patience on the matter, Sports Cards Freak. So this is Mike Singletary for the Bears to three ninety nine. Yeah, the hoops were not fun to sort. I wouldn't know. I didn't sort any of them. Uh. But my swords are telling me it takes, you know, three to four hours to do. And that's kind of ridiculous. And mind you, we did like six full cases of that over the weekend. So they, they were pretty, you know, bombarded with that. To the point where, you know, I've been spending ridiculous hours in here just trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. And I did the best I could. We're still, uh, we still got some breaks to go. Uh, and you know what? I'm probably going to have to come in during the weekend and uh, sort some stuff just so we can get everything out on time on Monday. I would like everything to go out on Monday, uh, and it will. Uh, everything from the weekend will go Tuesday more than likely. 
for the Saints, John Kuhn with the auto number to 99. You looked it up on the checklist, dude. I want to see that thing when you get it. Hopefully, it doesn't take like a year and a half to get it. For the Cowboys, Dak Prescott, four out of ten. Oh man. Kyle, the rich get richer. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. So I have nothing here. Straight base cards. Let's put these to the side. Let's keep it moving. I want to see a crazy... I, I saw the letter Nimoy already. Cut signature. John Kennedy would be crazy. It would go to the non-NFL spot, though. We do have the uh, non-NFL spot working on this. Come on. There you go. Did you really, Kyle? There you go. Well, I hope you did it. You know, that would be a mess to clean up. What was that from again? Five, was that five star? There's only like a few cards in here. From the five star. Nice. Five star being good to you, Kyle. Well, I still have that one PYT in the store available. Which I would like to get rid of. If I could rid if I could get rid of that tonight, that would be great. Did it? I, you know, I don't remember it saying like one on one on the redemption. Usually, you gotta like look at the checklist and check the print run to see, you know, how many or what it's number two or whatever. The NT did not show. I already spoke to Gel. Uh, he's working on getting us a case for that, Kyle. Might end up getting a few cases of the NT, actually. For the Vikings, Stephon Diggs with a patch. I know it's been a while, Kyle, so, you know, I understand if you if you need a refund or anything like that. You know, I, I, I understand. Uh, just let me know, and I'll, hand, I'll take care of you, my, my man. Oh, damn, for the Bears. Check that out. Ask and you shall receive. Dude, it works like... 80% of the time, it works 100% of the time. The Biscuit. Mitchell Trubisky with the RPA. That's a rookie patch auto in case you don't know the lingo. That is nice. And it's numbered to 49. That's a good card right there. There you go, Bears. That'll make you happy. Let's, uh, let's try to make somebody else happy now. All right, not a bad start to the, uh, the breaking day there. Hitting the biscuit, who, you know, doesn't sign very often. Adam Shaheen of the Bears. Speaking of the Bears, keeping it going. Number to 399. There you go, Ginger. Start the weekend off on a high note for you. Chad Hansen of the Jets to 199. Oh, yeah, box will definitely be fire. Elijah Hood of the Raiders to 99. Kyle, you just been you've been crushing it lately, man. Winning break credit left and right. To 99, Antonio Brown, Steelers.
Randy White to the Cowboys to three nine nine. For the Broncos, Carlos Henderson with the patch. Well, Chris Fitz, I will say this, man. I, I don't see you as much as, uh, as I'm used to. Uh, I, I understand life and, you know, things like that. I, I get it. I get it. Sounds good, Kyle. Sounds good. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends and bring them in here, man, so we can get some uh, get some breaks filled. If I could fill that five star and that NBA hoops tonight, that would be fucking amazing. And I do have a pretty sweet filler for the hoops. I'm gonna have to. Uh, Make sure that all the teams are accounted for and whatnot. Chris Fitz, dude, what happened to the Jets last night? Where was that team all year? I'm pretty sure even you were like, whoa, what the fuck? Well, Devin, definitely going to try to get it filled, man. Uh, we're down to 19 spots and uh, pretty close to filling it. I do have a, a filler I can run for it. Uh, just, you know, got to have the homies join, man. You started McCown? How many points did he get you? Dude, I tried to pick up a quarterback. And uh, the best choice I had was picking up uh, Flacco's backup. And I don't even, I don't, even, I don't know. I think Flacco was gonna play. You know, everybody out there stockpiling quarterbacks for no reason. He had 16 points, solid. Oh, in your other league, where it's not ridiculous, 20 teams. Uh, I don't think I'm ever doing that again. It's it's taking its time, Devin. It's definitely taking its time. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna put that put a little put a little elbow grease. Try to get that thing filled tonight. Uh, Carson Wentz for the Eagles. You know, hopefully the room is a lot livelier tonight than it was last night. Last night it was pretty dude. Johnny United so the Colts to nine nine. Nothing here. To 399 Warren Moon of the Vikings. You know, and it's uh I haven't put it in the store, but I do have an extra case of five star that's just, you know, eyeballing me right now, and I don't like the way it's looking at me. So uh, I think I'm gonna do that thing personal style. If anyone's interested in any five star baseball personal boxes, holla at your boy. I got what you need. Uh speaking of for the Dolphins to 399 Charles Harris. Should you order regular pizza or Indian pizza? Okay, first of all, you need to explain what exactly is Indian pizza. Is it like regular pizza but made like on pita bread or something? Like I don't I don't understand. What is Indian pizza? You need you need to break that down. Marlon Mack breaking it down for the Colts RPA style. Two colors on that patch. Number to 299, very nice. I would say get stuffed crust pizza because that's like the best pizza there is. Uh, unless you go to like a mom and pop shop. If you can get like that New York style. Listen, I had been to Chicago and I tried the deep dish pizza. And I listen, I know it's probably not a popular opinion. Uh, but I prefer New York style. I, I prefer the, the thin crust with the big ass slices. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not really into the deep dish. I mean, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was great. Um, I just prefer New York style. For the Bears, Adam Shaheen to 199. So the Bears getting a little bit richer right there. That's a good auto to have. Shaheen a good player. And, uh, you know, with a lot of these, you kind of want to just hold on to them. Because you never know when they're going to turn that corner and just start ball balling. 
But Devin, you know, I, I need you to explain exactly what an Indian pizza is. You know. Is it like the toppings that go on it that make it an Indian pizza? Or like... You feel me? Like, there's too many questions right now that, that need to be answered. And I could, you know, if, if you would like to uh, help me with that, uh, that'd be good. Curry pizza is so good. Um, again, what the fuck is Indian pizza? So Indian pizza, at least at, you know, whatever restaurant you're going to, has regular crust, Indian sauces, tandoori chicken, tekka, butter chicken, and more. Huh. Alright, here's another one for me. Uh, I've never had pizza with chicken on it. That's kind of like, I'm kind of weird when it comes to, like, food. For example, with a pizza, I'll eat a Hawaiian pizza. You know what I'm saying? I'll eat, I'll eat, I'll eat a Hawaiian pizza. Ham and pineapples on that joint. Delicious to me. However, chicken on pizza, that doesn't sound like a good idea. To me, anyway. I'm sure it probably tastes amazing. Um, call me old fashioned, but keep them things separate. I need, I need like cold cuts of my pizza, which will then in turn be hot because the pizza's hot, you know? I, you know what, Devin? I, I don't knock things until I try them. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know of any Indian spots down here in Miami. I'm sure there are plenty, uh, cause it's Miami and if it's been thought of, it's in Miami. So, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to have to talk to my Indian delegation and uh, try to find a, a spot where I can go find me some uh, some Indian pizza. I just hope it's not it's not spicy or anything like that. Because uh, I do have a little Indian homie. And she's full-on Indian. Like, full-on Indian. She's Americanized, but, like, she has her culture intact. And I've had some curry chicken, and, man, that shit is spicy. And uh, Uncle Jesse don't like that. What up, Mr. J? How you doing, man? It's been a while. For the Giants, it's been a while. Evan Ingram with the RPA. You got you got the D boys in this thing. Nice. The two ninety nine for the Giants. Evan Ingram RPA right there. I think I already pulled the Dolphins auto. Let me check real quick. Oh, that was a lie that I just told. Haven't pulled the Dolphins auto just yet. Keyword is yet. I'm working on it. Gronk for the Patriots. Runny lot for the Niners to ninety nine. Ted Hendricks Raiders 399. You got that stuffed pizza. Dude, stuffed creep. What am I talking about? Stuffed crust pizza is the business, bro. I'm assuming you got it from Pizza Hut, right? Josh Reynolds for the Rams patch. You know, I need to go to Steve's Pizza and be like, yo, y'all need to y'all need to do stuffed crust. It's 2017. It's about to be 2018. Y'all need to do stuff, crust. Robert Kelly for the Redskins. With the patch number to 149. I'm sorry, with the auto. You had Steve's Pizza today. Which one? Because there's, uh, there's multiple locations. So this is how I'm going to find out whether you're bullshitting me or not. Well, then again, you could always Google it. So there's the... To 399, Shelton Gibson of the Eagles. Stuff Crust is love. Stuff Crust is the shit. I had some, I don't know if you remember, but like, 
we were, dude, I was streaming one night long, like late as hell. And I had ordered pizza at like midnight or something. I don't know if you were in the room, Devin. Uh, but I did order like stuffed crust pizza. Like I had, I ended up ordering two of them bitches. Because like they had a special on the internet or whatever. And I had two of them. I ate like half of one. And then all I could think to myself was, you are disgusting. Uh, actually, you know what? I didn't know that there was, uh, it, what a Biscayne. Or North Miami, for that matter. Uh, the only Steve's Pizza locations I know, uh, there's one in Kendall. And there's another one in my neighborhood, which is down here by Cutler Ridge. Or Cutler Bay, as it's called now. But it fuck that. It's, cut, it's the ridge. Color ridge. And that's the one I go to, obviously. I go to the one in my hood. Ever been to Burger 5? No, I have not. But that sounds like a, sor like a sorority I would like to join. Or a fraternity. I think that's what the correct uh, word is I'm looking for. You stayed in my hood after the storm? I thought you was in Detroit, dog. Best burger you've had in a long time. You know when you add the extra O's to it, or, or you know the extra vowels, that is good. Oh, it was definitely tasty. Uh, I had pepperoni and bacon on that bitch. You know what? One time, Pizza Hut did this, and they changed the game. They had, like, stuffed crust pizza, but they had, like, bacon bits in the cheese and the crust. And, oh, my God. That was sex. It was sex. Number 10 out of 10 for the Broncos, Von Miller. That is nice. To 399, Donald Pumphrey of the Eagles. Shake Shack Burger is good. Never been there either. Joe Williams of the Niners. I know about Steak and Shake. You know, Steak and Shake gets uh, gets some respect in the hood. Chidobe a woozy for the Cowboys. Auto right there to 199 for the Bengals. Josh Malone to 99. There is one on yours, one near Coral Gables. Huh. You talking Shake Shack? I'm going to have to look into that. Here we go. Got a cut auto for the Colts. Bubba Smith to 99. That is nice. Am I mad about the Ajayi trade? Uh, I was very, very, very mad when the... Oh, near Taco Rico? Dude, there's a Taco Rico right here, like near 120th or whatever. Um, as far as the Ajayi tried, uh, trade, I was definitely upset. And I kind of still am. But I'm curious to see what our effort is going to be like on Sunday. I feel like that was a move that we made... To, to kind of shake things up in the locker room and be like, look, guys, if you don't feel like playing, you can get the fuck out. For the Cowboys, style back to 399. That's kind of what it feels like, it, you know. For those games where we went scoreless, it just it just looks like we didn't want to play. It, just a complete lack of effort. So that's probably what that trade was about. Uh, Cause you know I, I like to read read up on my team. I like to do research on my team, and uh, I was reading an article how Coach Gase was saying that there are three hotheads on the team: Coach Gase, Jay Ajayi, and Jarvis Landry. Uh, and if you know, Ajayi was traded, and Landry's been in trade talks. He's probably gonna leave at, at the off season. So that's Coach Gase, you know, pretty much 
putting everybody on notice. And he kind of did it last year, too, a little bit when he cut a bunch of O-linemen because they fucking suck. So, I, 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 I don't know, man. I'm curious to see what they're going to look like on Sunday. I really am. Uh, Matt Moore, been garbage. Like, I don't understand why anybody thought Matt Moore was going to change things around. You know. Jake Cutler is Jake Cutler. Uh, I don't understand why the Dolphins didn't try to make a move for Garoppolo. We probably would have had to spend a little bit more because it's the Patriots in, you know, in the division. And they would have kept them in the division. But so what, man? We got to upgrade that position badly. Because Ryan Tannehill is not the one. Uh, I know that's what we're looking forward to for next season. Oh, we're going to get Ryan Tannehill back. And, you know, we're going to be back in the, in the thick. No, we're not. No, we're not. You still have a below average quarterback. Like, the, being a Dolphins fan sucks. I know, Ra Ra. I know. That's, that's why. But, you know, we still could have at least tried. You know what's funny about the Patriots? They don't trade or make moves within the division, but they will damn sure pick up the scraps. You know, let's say the Dolphins cut a player, bet money, the uh, Patriots will pick them up. For the Browns, two cut autos in this uh, half case. Pretty good. Number to 50, Frank Gatsky. Pretty nice. It is a smart move on the Patriots' behalf. You know, that way uh, the player coming in can give them intel and whatnot. That's just the Patriots for you. That's just the Patriots for you. They're just sleazy, man. Patriots are just sleazy. Like, I don't knock them. I mean, I do knock them every chance I get. But, like, at this point, it's just it's just purely out of respect. It used to be, you know, sheer unbridled hatred. Now it's just out of respect. That is sleazy. That is sleazy, Rara. It's sleazy. To 399, Eric Dickerson Rams. Just because it's sleazy doesn't mean it's not smart. You know what I mean? You could be sleazy and smart. Some would say you there's a certain level of intelligence needed, required to be sleazy. All right, almost done with this. Got this last little stack here. Let's see what we got. Gerard Evans of the Eagles to 399. We could have even tried to sign this guy. No. Or freaking Brad Kaya. No. Nobody. We don't sign anybody. Chad Hansen of the Jets to 199. I just want to see my boys play. I'm, I may even go to the Hurricane game this Saturday. I might just do it. I might just do it. I already got a homeboy that's going. And we're wearing all black tomorrow against Virginia Tech. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that was the break. But as usual, recap time. So, we have Jake Butt Broncos. Hanson Jets. Frank Gadsky, Browns. Bubba Smith, Colts. Chidobia Woozy, Cowboys. Robert Kelly, Redskins. Evan Ingram, Giants. Adam Shaheen, Bears. Marlon Mack, Colts. Chad Hanson, Jets. Mitchell Trubisky, Bears. And John Kuhn, Saints. And that was the break, y'all. That was 2017 Panini Donruss Certified Cuts Football 6 Box Half Case Break Number 13. Style.